I'm Judy Shaw for NYC 4 Talk. Joining me today is Jennifer Rumsey. She is chair and CEO at Cummins. Jennifer, it is wonderful to have you here. Thanks for joining me today. Great to be with you today, Judy. Thank you. So now you are ringing the closing bell today. Tell me, what are you highlighting? I am really excited mm -hmm. to be here. I'm here this week with a group of uh, senior leaders at Cummins. One of our key strategies is to invest in leaders in the company. We think that gives us a competitive advantage in our business. And I'm here this week doing this just that with a group of leaders at Cummins. Well, that's wonderful. So now, Jennifer, talk to me about the company. What is Cummins? Yeah, so Cummins is a more than 100-year-old company. Our roots are in diesel engines, but today we are a power oh. solutions provider to commercial and industrial applications around the world. I think about us as, as really focused on powering some of the world's most demanding applications that are at the heart of the economy that serves our needs day in and day out. Okay. So now tell me, how does Cummings balance innovation for emissions reduction while focusing on building the necessary infrastructure to support these new technologies? Yeah, so as I mentioned, Judy, our, our roots are in diesel engines. And in fact, Cummings has embraced the need to drive innovation to reduce the environmental impact of our products. So we're constantly focused on how do we serve our customers' needs today and into the future. And that future includes decarbonization. Our strategy we call Destination Zero. Destination Zero is focused just on that. How do we decarbonize this industry that contributes meaningfully to global CO2 emissions? Um, and so that means we have to invest in innovation and we see it as a way to drive growth for the company across our entire business, our core business by decarbonizing engine-based solutions and also in our Accelera by Cummins business that's focused on future zero emissions technologies. All right, so tell me, how have recent policies positively influenced Cummins initiatives in energy transition? Well, the reality is we serve a variety of applications and in order for those applications to move to these alternate technologies like battery electric or fuel cell electric or hydrogen engine based solutions, you need a different infrastructure. Mm -hmm. uh, and also those technologies cost more today. So that is one reason first why our focus on reducing CO2 from engine based solutions is still so important. We can't wait to start to address these global warming challenges and climate change that we're seeing in the world today. And another hurricane just hit Florida right. mm -hmm. today, right, is further evidence of that. So you need these policies and incentives that help create certainty for businesses to invest in these alternate technologies and make them more affordable for customers. And by doing that, it drives scale up, brings the cost down, uh, creates an infrastructure to support them. And it's really critical for us to really reach uh, a future that will be at zero. And our, we have sustainability goals that align with Paris Climate Accord that are focused on doing just that for the company. All right, now finally, talk to me about the strategy behind the $1 billion investment in U.S. manufacturing to support fuel agnostic engine platforms and its role in decarbonizing the commercial vehicle industry. Yeah, so we actually are investing at record levels in our research and development and capital across our business. So we're investing in some of these incentives we just talked about are driving investment in electrolyzers. We now are going to produce electrolyzers in one of our plants in Fridley, Minnesota here in the U.S. And we're also making big investments, believe it or not, in engine-based solutions. Cummins is investing in what will be an industry-leading next-generation engine that we call our fuel-agnostic engine platforms. So it's going to be leading from an efficiency and power-to-weight ratio for diesel solutions and also has the flexibility to burn other low and zero carbon fuels like renewable natural gas or green hydrogen. So it's really exciting investment they we're making to help our customers uh, and uh, the, the communities and planet that, that we all live on be successful in the future. All right, well, Jennifer, wonderful to talk with you. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk today. Thank you, Judy. Mm -hmm.